To carry a suitcase on an airplane, the length plus width plus height must be less than or equal to 66 inches. Assuming the height is fixed, what is the maximum volume of the box in terms of H? Let's start there. This is going to be a fairly complicated problem, um, but it all starts with the fact that our length plus our width plus our height has to be equal to or less than 66 inches. But you would imagine that to maximize the volume, we would use that full 66 inches. We also know that volume is given by length times width times height, since we can assume that our suitcase is going to be rectangular. And we are going to start by assuming that H is a constant. Okay, but if we want to maximize the volume of our suitcase, we still have two variables here, L and W. And while you'll learn how to maximize functions of more than one variable in calculus three, for calculus one, we need one variable in these problems. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate one variable by solving for a variable. So let's say L equals 66 minus w minus h. What we can then do is plug that l into our volume formula to get the following. Now it still looks like it has two variables, but keep in mind again that h is a constant. So let's rewrite this with that constant h out front, and I'm going to distribute the w through these parentheses. Let's take a derivative of this volume with respect to the variable, which is w. Since h is a constant, it can stay out front. The derivative of 66w is just 66. The derivative of w squared is 2w. The derivative of hw, keeping in mind that h is a constant just like 66 is, is just h. Now to find the critical points, we can set that derivative equal to 0. And h is just some constant. It's not going to be 0. So the only way for this first derivative to equal 0 is if 66 minus 2w minus h equals 0. Let's solve this for our variable, which is w. I'm getting that the w that maximizes this volume is going to be 66 minus h all over 2. To get what that volume is, we have to take this w, which is 66 minus h over 2, and plug it in here and here. Now, I'm first going to rearrange things a little bit because I see a 66 minus h in a bunch of different places. So I'm going to put my 66 and my minus h together. Now, I'm going to plug this w in to this volume equation, and we get the following mess. Our lives can be simplified a little bit if we understand what's going on right in here. We have 66 minus h, and then we're subtracting that same thing, 66 minus h, but divided by two. So if you have something, say x, and you're subtracting a half of that x, you should just still be left with half of that x. So what's in this first set of parentheses is just going to turn out to be 66 minus h over two. Our second set of parentheses here, we're just going to keep writing down. Now we can multiply this out a little bit if we'd like. We have 66 minus h squared in the numerator. We have a four in the denominator, which I'll call one fourth. We still have this h outside. This answer should be perfectly fine for this first part of the problem. But in the next part of the problem, we're going to be doing something more with this. We're gonna be taking a derivative. So I'm just gonna foil this thing out. Now I'm going to multiply this h through the parentheses, and then I'm gonna multiply the four through the parentheses and order things just a little bit differently. Okay, so um, this volume, I'm just going to box up and I'm gonna go back and remind you what we just did. We had a suitcase and its length plus width plus height needed to be 66. We solved this for L and we plugged this into our equation for volume of a rectangle. When we did that, we got an equation of one variable. Of course, that was assuming that H is a constant. We took a derivative and set that derivative equal to zero to get the W, the width, that would maximize our volume. To find the actual volume, we had to take that width and plug it back into the original volume equation equation which we then just did a whole bunch of algebra on to get this answer here. Now this is the maximum volume, assuming that h is a constant. But what the next problem asks us to do is to find the height that then allows us to have the maximum volume. So we're gonna take this equation right here and we're gonna maximize it. That involves finding critical points. So we need to take a derivative and we're gonna set that derivative equal to zero. And I really don't like fractions in these problems, so I'm gonna multiply everything by four, even though that might create some pretty big numbers. The cool thing is that now we can divide everything through by 3, and what we're left with should actually factor. You can, of course, use the quadratic formula here, just plug it into Wolfram Alpha or something like that, but this does factor. And we get two critical points. One is h equals 66, and the other is the height of this rectangle is 22. Now, only one of these makes sense because our length plus our width plus our height has to add up to 66. The only critical point here that makes sense is a height of 22 inches. If you wanted to then find the volume of the suitcase, that maximum volume, you would take this h is 22 and plug it into this formula here. Okay, good job. Thanks for hanging in there.